everyone in today's video i'm going to talk to you about what to expect before during and after a c-section i'm a first time mum and i had a category 2 c-section i'll put a link up here if you are interested in hearing my story but i can only draw off my own experience of what i went through before during and after my c-section However, I do hope that this video can help anyone and everyone who is either planning to have a C-section or just wants to know more about C-sections to prepare for the unexpected. A doctor will come in and discuss with you what will happen. You'll have to read and sign a consent form. You'll be given an antacid such as a meprazole. If you're like me and you can't swallow tablets, you'll be made to chew it. It's pretty disgusting, but it is recommended that you take it. You will be given either an epidural or a spinal block. I was given an epidural, so I can only speak of my experience with an epidural. They will perform a test to ensure that you cannot feel anything. And to do this, they will use a very cold spray that they will spray from your feet all the way up to your body to determine what you can feel and where. They'll top up the epidural to where it needs to be to ensure that you cannot feel any pain during your C-section. You'll have a catheter inserted and if needed, they will shave any pubic hair that is in the area. So if you're planning to have a C-section or a vaginal birth, you don't need to worry about shaving. Honestly, we're all human and we all grow hair in places and trying to shave around a huge bump before you give birth is just super stressful and super unnecessary. It's also better that the surgeons shave you because it helps to prevent infection. And even if you're having a vaginal birth, it's better that you leave hair there for your birth, as again, it can help to prevent infection. You'll then be wheeled into the theatre, which is very, very bright. Of course, it has to be bright so that the surgeon can see what they are doing. However, if you plan to have a gentle C-section, you can request for the lights to be dimmed. However, I'm not sure how this works with the policies in individual hospitals. I feel as though this is something you would have to discuss with your hospital before your C-section. There'll be a lot of people in the theatre and this can be quite overwhelming. So I just want to forewarn you that there are quite a few people in the surgery. So this includes doctors, the surgeon, midwife, anaesthetists, support workers. You'll have quite a few people at your head and quite a few people helping to perform the surgery. The people around your head, the anaesthetist, the support worker and the midwife will all explain to you the process of the c-section as and when things are happening. So they will tell you what's happening and when it's happening. I do feel this is quite beneficial because it is quite reassuring to have someone explain to you how much longer it's going to be because it does feel like you are there for a very long time and it just helps to have those people around you supporting you and explaining to you what is happening. You will have a pillow under your head however it does you can feel very flat, like I just remember feeling very flat and I wanted to mention this bit because I feel like it contributed to how I felt like I was going to pass out at one point. Um, my blood pressure dropped quite low whilst I was having my c-section and it was quite unpleasant because you are there for quite a while. I just want to make people aware of that, that you just feel like you're very flat or almost tilted back slightly and it's just not a very pleasant feeling. You will have a very large screen in front of you so you cannot see what happens during the surgery. For gentle c-sections 
or personal preference really, you can request for this screen to be lowered when your baby is being born so that you can see your baby come into the world. Again, this is something that you will have to discuss with your individual hospital. After the incisions are made, you will hear a very loud suction sound. This is because they are sucking out all of the amniotic fluid before your baby is born. When they're bringing your baby into the world, you will feel a lot of pressure. You won't feel any pain, but you will feel pushing, tugging, pulling. And the best way to describe this is exactly how my anaesthetist described it to me. She said to me that it feels like a washing machine inside your tummy and that is the most accurate way of describing how it feels when they are trying to get the baby out. It's not painful but it can be a little bit of an unpleasant experience. Once your baby is born they will bring them around the side so that you can see them. They will then take them over to the side to do some checks on them, check their heart, check their breathing, so that your partner can cut the cord. Whilst they are doing this, they will be giving you an oxytocin injection to help deliver the placenta, to encourage your uterus to contract and to reduce blood loss. They'll then stitch you up. The inside incision will be stitched up with dissolvable stitches, but the outside incision can vary between dissolvable stitches and staples. I had dissolvable stitches, I feel like I was very lucky because obviously I feel like dissolvable stitches are just better. So if you're worried about that and you're planning your c-section then just discuss what they will be stitching you up with because obviously staples have to have removed so I would if I was planning a c-section I would want to know what they're going to use I would request that they use dissolvable stitches to be honest because I feel like staples would be unpleasant but obviously I can't really comment on that because I haven't had staples so. The whole process can take up to an hour and you're on the table it can feel like a very long time. You may feel quite lightheaded, you might feel a little bit sick, you might feel like you're gonna pass out and all of this is very normal and whatever you are feeling just make sure that you explain it to those people that are around your head because they are very reassuring and that's what they're there for to help you to get through this process because it can be unpleasant it's not painful but it's not pleasant and I'm not saying this to scare anybody I'm just saying it so that you can be fully informed before your c-section after they have stitched you up they will transfer you from the operating table to a bed and baby will be placed in your arms, all being well that you're both okay. Baby doesn't need to be taken to special care and nothing is wrong with you. Then baby will be placed with you in the bed and you will be wheeled to a recovery room. It is the weirdest sensation being moved from the bed to the operating table and vice versa because obviously you are completely numb you feel very heavy and it's a very weird experience and i don't really know how to explain it other than you just feel very heavy and it's just super weird not being able to feel the majority of your body once you're in the recovery room you will be assessed very regularly so I think the time between observations obviously just depends on how well you are doing and how well baby is doing the observations are on you though and they will check your temperature your heart rate and your blood pressure I had mine done every half an hour because unfortunately I contracted an infection during my labor 
and so I was already on a drip of antibiotics. I had a very very fast heart rate and I had an ECG and then I had regular observations every half an hour until my heart rate calmed down and then it went to an hour and then they slowly increase the time between my observations. Your body will be fairly numb until your epidural or spinal block wears off. This can take up to around 18 hours after your surgery, at which point your pain will peak. So you want to make sure that you are staying on top of your pain medication and do ask for extra pain medication if you need it. Don't suffer. I actually asked quite regularly in between my pain medication for Oromorph because it just helped to take that extra edge off because C-section is very, very painful. I'm not gonna lie, the recovery is painful and difficult, but you will get through it and it will all be fine in the end. You will probably have to wear compression socks and you will also probably have to have an anticoagulant injection. So this just helps to prevent blood clots. And I don't think that everyone has the anticoagulant injections. It all depends on your risk factors. So they will do a risk assessment on you and decide whether you need to have them. Some people don't have them at all. Some people have them for a few days, for six days, for 10 days or more. I had them for 10 days and whilst it's not very nice it's definitely needed and to be honest your belly is so numb after a c-section they've cut through all of the nerves and you can't really feel it so it's not that big a deal. I would just highly recommend that you do take them because you definitely do not want to be getting a blood clot. The next day your catheter will be removed and you will be mobilised out of your bed. Walking for the first time after a c-section is a very, very strange and painful experience. I don't want to scare anybody again, but I would like you to be informed and know what to expect after your c-section. And so getting in and out of the bed is very painful. Walking for the first time is very strange. You feel like jelly basically, your whole body feels like jelly. After they've removed your catheter, they will ask you to go to the toilet. You will be asked to pee in a bowl so that they can measure how much pee you have done. After a c-section you do suffer with quite a bit of gas pain and this is totally normal unfortunately when you've had such major abdominal surgery. Your bowels have been bashed around and moved around a bit and they do kind of shut down and it just takes some time for them to get back to normal and so you will suffer with quite a bit of gas pain. I would also recommend taking a stool softener as you do not want to be constipated after a c-section. The next day you will be able to have a shower and your dressing will be removed after your shower. They do tell you to get your dressing very wet in the shower so that it makes it easier to take it off. It's normal for your incision to be very, very sore and it's normal for the surrounding area to be numb for quite some time. It could be numb for up to a year, it could be numb for a few weeks or it could be numb forever. I'm 20 months postpartum and I still have some numbness around my c-section and I also do have a lot of tenderness in my abdomen. I do flinch quite a bit if anybody touches my belly and this is like 20 months on. Not to say that you will be the same because everybody is different and everybody's recovery is different. It can take a while to feel like you're back to normal or at least semi-normal. Again, I'm not trying to scare anybody but 
this is the reality of having a c-section i'm very grateful that c-section is a thing i definitely don't feel personally like i would opt for one unless there were medical reasons to have one so i'm again just wanting to put this information out there for anyone considering a c-section even if it's just because you're terrified of being in labor it is points to consider unfortunately if you have no choice to have one or you end up with an unplanned one it just helps to be informed so i'm not trying to scare you <laughs> you won't be able to drive for six to eight weeks and getting in and out of the car and riding in the car as a passenger it, it can be very painful so make sure when you leave hospital that you have someone to drive you home and that you also have a pillow that you can press against your tummy and this goes the same for if you are laughing or sneezing or coughing the same as if you need to go for a ride in the car as a passenger make sure that you have something that you can press against your belly to just try and take the edge off a little bit because it is very painful i also just want to add that c-section is major abdominal surgery and you do need to take it easy and not be so hard on yourself not expect to recover quickly be kind to yourself and not expect your body to bounce back it is a lot harder for your body to bounce back when you've had a c-section i am 20 months postpartum and i'm going to show you my belly and my incision so this is like really hard because i'm very very self-conscious about my belly you can see i have an overhang and i still have quite a belly i do have a little diastasis recti and there are exercises on youtube or you can go to a physio to help with closing the gap in your abdomen so this is what my belly looks like from the side and this is what my belly looks like from the front ignore the pant line oh, i'm sorry it's so gross and then this is my c-section I think that has covered everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope that this video helps you to prepare for your planned c-section or to prepare for the unexpected. Thank god we have surgeons that can perform c-sections so that you and your baby can be safe. I hope that this video helps anyone who needs it and if you're planning on having a c-section or you've got a scheduled date already then i wish you and your baby nothing but health and i hope that your recovery is smooth i do have another video which i will link up here on c-section recovery my top tips for c-section recovery so make sure you head over and watch that and if you like this video then please like comment and subscribe to my channel it really helps me out and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye guys bye.